Adaptable Solutions for Society, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 77. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 77, August 22nd, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress for the last week with videos and pictures. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and other specifics of what it is that we're creating, visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished the other 75% of the Harmony Lesson Plan mind map. We now move on to web design for this one, which will produce a lesson plan page that teaches all subjects to all learning levels in the context of this central theme. For examples of finished lesson plans, visit our Complete Lesson Plans page. We also finished our interviews, analysis, and adding of Imagine Wisdom Education to the website. This completes two weeks of interviews of Satyana Lukin, the founder of Imagine Wisdom Education, who has also been helping us with the development of the open source Ultimate Classroom component. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished adding the diversity details to the sweet potato section of the large scale gardening page. We have the nine you see featured here, plus 12 more for a total of 21, along with cultural considerations, planting guidelines, and purchasing details. Behind the scenes, we've also finished about 15% of the work needed to create individual feature pages for each of the different plant species that we've been featuring over the last several months. These pages are necessary because this aspect of our adaptable food solutions for society has grown to hundreds of unique plants that we've researched, and listing them all with images has made the web pages load too slowly. The new feature pages we've created will fix this and also allow us to later add additional maintenance, harvesting, accessioning, cultivation, and recipe details. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing completed the first 15% of the earth bag construction footers, foundation, and flooring tutorial page you see here. We'll be adding extensive tutorial videos and other details as part of the crowdfunding campaign. We also created a new layout for the crowdfunding campaign wet dome that fits into a 150 square foot footprint. The purpose of a dome this small is so that it can be built in many counties without a permit. We will also be providing a permitted version of the 150 square foot footprint dome as part of our crowdfunding campaign goals. 
also behind the scenes, but seen here, we completed about 40% of the total energy infrastructure rollout details for the off-grid community creation starting with 50 and progressing to 400 plus people. These details are developing now in Google Docs and will be transferred and reformatted on the website as soon as they are complete. Scott Howard of Earth and Hand Natural Building has also now added a large body of natural plaster creation input to our open source plaster page and you can see that here in the background. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed this additional 30 seconds of the Duplicable City Center 3D video, showing over two years of design work for this building happening in 3D. If you'd like to see the complete video uh, up through this point, you can visit the written blog, and there you'll see the whole video as it's developed to this point, including music and some still images at the end that will show you some additional details about this building. Behind the scenes, we also completed about 60% of the control systems research for all structures at one community. What you see here is a screenshot from our working Google Doc in progress. This is the research into all the software and hardware options available for monitoring, management, and automation of everything from energy and water to internet usage at one community. Also, Ben Pollock of Web Food Service Design helped coordinate our complete hood design and emergency sprinkler system design details for the dining dome, which is what you see here. And last but not least, Joel Newman began working on the lighting specifics for the dining dome, sharing this process uh, that you can see here. And this is a, an ongoing process. And these pictures and what you can see here is taken from our collaborative Google Doc workspace and shows his work testing both the software for assessing lighting as well as lighting placement. All this is on our written blog if you'd like to read it in detail. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team updated our one community pledge, sharing our 14 core values and 42 questions to facilitate global transformation and create a world that works for everyone. You can see that here in the background. We also updated our revenue streams page discussing the overview of the open source one community model for adaptable financial solutions for spreading highest good society. And last but not least, we finished hours of collaboration and design of our new open source video coming image that you can see here. This image will begin to be displayed on our website wherever we'll be adding an open source tutorial video. One community is creating adaptable solutions for society. And our guiding philosophy for this is really two parts. Number one, creating for the highest good of all, which means that we're thinking globally and we're bringing together global thinkers with the highest good of all consciousness that want to create solution models for all aspects of a sustainable and self-sufficient civilization that we open source share. And the open source sharing is our second guiding philosophy, is to open source and free share all of these adaptable solutions so that they can be applied either as individual components or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world. Solution model hubs that are solution models that create additional solution creating models. The whole idea is to create a model that if we design it to be easy enough, if we demonstrate it to be affordable enough, and if we demonstrate it to be attractive enough, we know that the model will spread on its own. And this is our focus. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like something that you want to get involved in, we invite you to join us. We're calling together the makers, the creators, the architects, the 
the engineers of the future, the people that want to work together to create adaptable solutions for society that address all of the foundations of a sustainable civilization, and open source and free sharing those so that people have access to them and can adapt and modify those in the ways that work best for them. We're covering food, energy, housing, education, highest good economics, for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship putting all of these things together, but also designing them to be implemented individually. And this is why when we talk about adaptive solutions for society, the idea is that they are adaptable to meet the needs of the individual or different groups with different values, different sets of ideas, to be able to modify those and to address all areas of society. And so we call this a highest good society approach to living and creating. And so this is what we're doing. This is what we're creating, and if you're a maker, if you're a creator, if you're an architect and engineer of the future, this is why we say join us because we're bringing together a global collaborative, a global cooperative of the people that think this is a good idea, people that think this is a noble venture and a worthwhile investment of time and energy. All of our team are nonprofit volunteers. Everybody that's doing this is creating it because we believe in the idea that we can be the change that we want to see in the world, and we're creating it right now. Our path is clear. We've been along this path for years now. We've put tens of thousands of hours in the design process, development process, and the next big step for us, the next big move, will be to get the property off the market. So each time during these, these weekly blogs, I like to put it out there that if you're somebody, if you're a connector, if you're somebody that knows people, or if you're somebody that's looking for an investment in the future for ourselves, for our children, for our children's children, our grandchildren's children, this is what our project is looking for. Our nonprofit organization is looking for a nonprofit investor, somebody who would like to invest in our nonprofit, or somebody who'd like to donate to our 501c3 and help us get the property off the market. If we can do that, then that will allow us to build our team faster, allow us to share the locations, and allow us to take the whole open source process that we're already engaged in, that we've been working on now for years, to the next level, multiplying our output. 10 times, 100 times, and ultimately a 1,000 times more as we move on to the property and start building everything that one community is about. And taking this idea of adaptable solutions to society and creating an actual tangible location that people can come and visit and experience and then take all of the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, everything that we're creating that creates a combination of physical sustainability, with emotional sustainability, an evolution of sustainability, putting these two ideas together into a complete sustainable and self-sufficient environment that feeds the deepest human needs. And creating that environment so people can visit and take all of those open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources with them. Free sharing how to duplicate that environment so it becomes self-replicating. So, if you're that person that knows that person, or if you are that person, or if you're somebody that would just like to help us by sharing what it is that we're doing, we are on all of the social media networks. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr. We are on Pinterest. We are on all the different social media networks because we want to make it as easy as possible to comprehensively share everything that it is that we're creating so the people that are interested in this, the people that want access to it, have as many ways to access the information and to share this information with as many people as possible. So, as always, thank you for following our progress. If you'd like to uh, get regular updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or send us an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And as we continue to create these adaptable solutions for society, we uh, extend our arms of gratitude for everybody that's supporting us. We also say thank you for all the small donations that we get that allow our nonprofit volunteers and our organization to continue to move forward because uh, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. And so those donations help to pay for our website expenses and things like that, all the open source creation that we're doing. And as always, I say that uh, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.